We can now speak to Meghna Pant from Mumbai. She's a journalist and speaker and one of India's foremost female writers. She also curates a regular Mumbai panel discussion on feminism called Feminist Rani. Meghna, thank you very much for joining us uh, on DW. We heard there in a report, Indian politics is still very much a boys club. And if you look at the numbers, less than 8% of the people running in this election are women. Why is that? You know, Sumi, uh, thanks for having me. Um, you know, the question you bring up is so imperative. Uh, you, we are a nation of almost 497 million women, but politics is considered almost India's Bermuda Triangle because there's a gross underrepresentation of women. And this is, of course, reflective of, uh, you know, the prevailing cultural attitudes uh, that cut across society. Uh, where women are not always given a voice, you know. A lot of women don't enter politics because they are inundated with household responsibilities. Uh, they do not possess the kind of confidence or the financial backing to enter politics. And those who do manage to enter, uh, they face deeply rooted misogynistic attitudes. It's, uh, politics is deeply antagonistic towards women in general. So this has been prevailing since the 1970s when, you know, Indira Gandhi's daughter mm -hmm. and Manika Gandhi's... Uh, Photographs in a towel were paraded by the opposition as collateral damage, or we had one of our most powerful female leaders, uh, Jai Lalita, whose sari was actually ripped off and torn uh, in, the, in the House of Parliament. Um, so, and every day, top female leaders such as Mamta Banerjee and Smithy Irani, even today, face hugely gendered sexist remarks. So, yes, politics is a very reductionist game. It diminishes women. Uh, there's a lot of character assassination and name calling. So it's not very conducive to women at all to enter politics, to survive in it, leave alone thrive in it. So there are deep-rooted cultural barriers, you're saying. What about the candidate we just looked at in our report, Mahua Moitra? Uh, she is a US-educated yeah. woman. She worked for JP Morgan in London, in New York. Is she really representative yeah. of women in Indian politics? You know, unfortunately, no. I think we need more educated voices in our country. We need more female voices in parliament. But the fact remains that she is actually an exception and definitely not the rule. Uh, there's a statistic in India that almost 33% of politicians have a criminal record. That means they have impending criminal cases against them for crimes as varied as theft to murder. And yet, they're considered powerful because it's not considered a negative trait to be a criminal in Indian politics. So that's what she's dealing with. Mm -hmm. But from what I have seen of her, she is strong. Uh, she's incorrigible like she should be. She's tough. She's standing up to all the deep-rooted misogyny and sexism uh, with a brave heart. And I think we need more leaders like that and definitely more female leaders like that in our country. And yet, Meghna, she also says that gender has nothing to do with it. She said, quote, I think there are very few women's issues. Do you think that's the right approach? Uh, no, that's where I would disagree with her. I feel very strongly that female representation is so low in Indian politics. Uh, that means that you're taking the decision making out of 50% of the population. And the key indicators of equality, of empowerment, of progress then are completely negated. So I feel that actually women need to come together to form a collective in order to increase the vote bank uh, and to have more women in parliament, to have more women leaders and to have more women voters because India is facing such big gender issues from the fact that there's a rape in our country every 13 minutes uh, to dowry deaths every hour to domestic violence, that's 33% of women, that's 200 million women. So if you do not have somebody representing these voices, representing the gender, where are you going to see progress? Where are you going to see equality in the country if we do not have female leaders? So we need more female leaders and we need them to address key issues related to women. All right, Magna Pant joining us from Mumbai, a journalist and speaker and writer. Thank you so much for your insight today. Thank you.